All right, what we got here is a J40. And the owner sent it to me because he had some problems with some fuzziness up um, up the neck on it. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that the frets were low and flat. And so that's going to cause some issues because the string's not going to bite cleanly and it's going to kind of, it's not it's going to be fuzzy. Not going to make a clean note. Next thing was just my standard Martin modifications. And those always help the guitar breathe a little bit better. So my suggestion was, let's do those things and then let's listen to the guitar and see what it sounds like and see if we got what we wanted to do out of it. So I'm going to play this guitar and then I'm going to compare it to the Shops 1972 D18. And this is a Rosewood guitar. The D18 is a mahogany card guitar. But that's not the point. The point is to just have a basis for comparison so that I'm not just playing this guitar in a vacuum. Because, you know, there's a recording process here. So the Shop D18 is a really good guitar. I gig on it um, every now and then. Good sounding guitar. You ought to be able to compare the trouble spots and see how this guitar is actually doing to that, compared to that guitar, okay? So I'm going to go through my standard stuff and then I'm going to play some swing chords up the neck as well as a lot of notes up in here. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit when we get to it. So here we go.
sounds pretty good to me. Um, oh, when I went to music school, my guitar teacher, uh, one of the first things he told me was this. He said, now, this is a little bit of an exaggeration, but he's got a point to it. Uh, the point was that you should take it uh, from this point right here, this open string, and draw a line to here, and draw a line across here, and everything below that has good tone, and everything up above it has less good tone. So when you get up into these strings and these notes and that sort of thing, that um, is going to have less good tone than the same notes down into here. Now it's going to have a different tone. You know, we got this clarified later on. Obviously, you got to play chords and stuff up here, but it's going to have a different tone. There's a heavier string. It's a shorter scale. It's going to always have a characteristic little dad tone to it, if you will. Uh, this guitar is pretty good, you know. I, I don't have any problem with that at all. And I thought the sustain was real good. You know, that's it's sustaining really good, giving it a lot of time for vibrato. You know, it's sustaining that slide. So... Yeah, I, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, sitting here playing the guitar, the bass is tremendous on this thing. It's got a powerful, powerful bass. And at the same time, I'm surprised at how much trouble um, I'm getting out of it. For the for the size of the body and everything, it, it, and the amount of bass, it's not a um, a dull guitar at all. It doesn't seem dull to me. It seems like it's got quite a bit of trouble. I suppose, you know, if you've got nitpicky up in here in these notes... I don't know, though. You know, that sound pretty good. Um, compare them to the D18, see what you think. Well, the whole, pretty good guitar. I mean, I'd play this out any day. It's funny, it's a J. It doesn't feel that much bigger to me than, than the Dreadnought. Um, it is a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it. It's a big guitar, you know, don't get me wrong on that, but it doesn't feel huge or anything. The neck is really nice. It's just, uh, it's a one and three quarters. I gave it a new nut, which I haven't quite finished yet. I gave it a new nut um, with wide spacing, so the chords are really nice up in here. Real super easy to play chords. And also, when you widen the spacing up here, it makes it a little bit more consistent as you go up and down the neck. Um, the strings don't, you know, narrow in one way or the other. It's a nice, consistent feel. So it's a good guitar.